What a glorious Lord's Day it is to be able to come into your presence and share just a thought with you that the Lord has laid upon my heart. You know, encouragement is something that we all need. We live in such discouraging times. In Acts chapter 20, verse 1, the Bible talks about an uproar that had ended, and Paul uh, sent for the disciples, and he encouraged them, and and basically he said goodbye, and he set out on a missionary journey to Macedonia. Uh, the Bible said that he traveled through an area speaking many words of encouragement to all of the people that, uh, that he faced. My friend, you need to understand and know that sometimes this Christian life that we live, it can bring discouragement. Uh, in fact, uh, sometimes we find ourselves discouraged because it would appear that especially in these modern times that, that we're just a remnant uh, and that there's just not that many of us. It seems that more and more and more people are standing against what we represent. Christians, my friend, as a group, would seem and appear to be small in number in today's society. And that's simply because we live in a world that's full of sin and darkness. You see, the world doesn't uh, encourage you to maintain your faith. In fact, the world entices you to walk away from your faith. But friend, listen to me. As a Christian, you must do everything within your power to stay encouraged and to encourage others. And the greatest way for you to stay encouraged is to stay in the Lord Jesus Christ and receive encouragement from him. You see, beloved, the people in the world who live in darkness, they really need you to help them find the light of Christ's love. The people of this world need you to encourage them and to give them support. Well, I know you may be saying, but I've tried and I've tried, and it appears that no one will listen. Well, the Bible teaches us that it's our duty to try and to share and to sow the seed, and God will give the increase. He may send somebody by to water the seed. He may send somebody by to fertilize the seed, but God will give the increase. So it is a must that you encourage others and show them the light of the Lord Jesus Christ. When you encourage others, you demonstrate to others just how much our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ encourages you. Let's pray. Father, I know that there are many Christians today who find themselves walking in the valley of discouragement. But Lord, remind them that you have come to be the light of the world. And you, O oh Lord, will help them overcome their discouragement. And you, O oh Lord, not only will encourage them, but God, you will help them become an encouragement to others. Bless, I pray today, the lives of those who may be the most discouraged that hear this word. And God, I'll be careful to give you praise for all you do in the mighty and precious name of Jesus. Amen. Let me encourage you today to find the house of God and to worship him in spirit and in truth. Today at First Baptist Church, Nashville, I'll be talking about uh, feeling empty. And many times in life, we feel empty. But God has a way of filling up the vessel if we'll look to him. I'd like to invite you to come by. If you feel empty and discouraged, I'd like to try my best to encourage you with an encouraging word from the word of God. God bless you and you have a great day.